We're at the Taylorsville Lake Wildlife Management Area. This is called the Briar Ridge Unit of Taylorsville Lake. It's a 1,800 acre section of the management area. Today, we're gonna be putting fire to 580 acres of that area. Okay, we use uh, drip torches that have a mixture of diesel and gasoline. It's on the end has a wick, so they light the wick with the match and it drips lit fuel onto the ground. It has a little loop nozzle on the end. However you set your drip setting, there's an air vent on the drip torch. Fire uh, it serves multiple purposes. It encourages growth of the warm season grasses in our fields. And it also will help us fight invasive species. We have six crews total. There are four igniter crews that are putting fire on the ground. We have a support crew and we have a, a forestry crew that is suppression fire along our fire breaks. And then we also have a crew that is on the water that will be uh, igniting the woods from the boat. We're here today at Taylorsville Lake uh, shooting flares off the boat to uh, try to help the progression of a prescribed fire we have going on here. The number of flares we're going to shoot off today will probably range somewhere between 50 to 100 depending on uh, the spread of the fire uh, as, as we go and how much of the fire backs down. A lot of these animals will run for cover and they'll hide. Deer and rabbits and turkey and quail and squirrels will all be able to run away and they'll get out ahead of the fire. And it's real common whenever we're burning on even private lands or public lands, you'll start seeing those animals start moving out in advance of the fire before the fire even gets to them. It's pretty hilly terrain, and it could be potentially dangerous to send the crew up and down a hill. Once a crew gets an area burnt, they will backfire down towards the lake and the crew from the water, they will set the flares. They will reach from the shoreline. They'll put fire up to the flares to match them together. We have some students from EKU. The students, they all have their training in fighting fire and prescribed burns, and most of them is their first time out, so they're more going to be shadowed and, and mentored on the burn. Yeah, my major is uh, wildlife management with a minor in biology. I'm out here today because uh, I'm red card certified and I love putting fire on the ground. The purpose of this fire is to increase oak hickory regeneration and open up some of the woodlands for, for more small game habitat. You will be increasing forest floor cover for smaller creatures like squirrels. Uh, in the woodlands and in the open areas within the woodlands, you'll be increasing early successional habitat for things like rabbits and turkey poults. Really, all, all the animals will benefit from this. You'll be increasing woody browse for things like deer. A lot of the animals here in the eastern U.S. have evolved on a fire landscape, and uh, they've come to exist in some cases rely on management activities. And prescribed fire is one of the methods that allows us to manage the largest chunks of property at one time. Well, this has been officially uh, restores the, the environment back to an oak hickory setting that we're looking for. We're looking for a productive forest, nice healthy grass fields, and it helped game and non-game wildlife both.